hey guys welcome back to another video and from now on i want to create more tutorials using 3ds max so basically i'm going to make some beginners to in more ad intermediate videos and also from intermediate to advanced video i feel that until now i worked only from intermediate to advanced video rendering v-ray and using basic 3ds max for importing and exporting. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add some modifier uh, shortcuts over here in this area. Uh, I think it's pretty important because it will be super easy to use them. So we just need to, let's open up a box, simple box, and we need to go to modifier and we have this panel. So the thing with uh, modify is like layers in Photoshop or ZBrush, doesn't matter program. So if we go to S and choose Spherify, but before that we need to add some Turbo Smooth. So we we'll go to T. We can close this one. Press F4 for uh, wireframe. Let's add one more iteration. And if we go to Spherify, you'll see that you will try to be more like a sphere. The box is not perfectly, so let's change it to 45, 45, and 45. So I think you got the idea of uh, this modifier list. So let's go and delete all of this. Press Alt W to maximize your VPro viewport. And now we can go to configure modifier set. Uh, you can see some uh, shortcuts over here, mesh editing, uh, UVs, subdivision, etc. If we choose subdivision and we need to go to show buttons, you will see all the subdivision that usually are used. So the most used by me is turbo smooth and open subdivide i do not use mesh smooth or maybe some type reset but this one i almostly never used i'm going to show you now what it does so this weird uh, shortcut it's called hierarchical subdivision surface so basically what it does let's go and create a simple plane let's apply press M and apply one better material and uh, let's add edit poly if I had the shortcut here it will be much easier just to add it and now let's apply this weird name and we can select this polygon whatever we want and just press subdivision as you can see it will try to add on this area more subdivision it's pretty interesting but I'm not using so I just wanted to show you what it does okay let's go back let's delete this one and uh, let's go back to adding shortcuts I need to go back to configure modifier and let's uh, press this or mesh editing you will have every uh, mesh editing that you'll need Sym sym symmetry uh, optimize vertex etc so let's go to show button and let's go to config configure modifier so over here we can uh, create our own uh, shortcut that we need so to reduce the number we can press just let's say six and as you can see it will reduce them so we need to select uh, the one that we need to modify so basically every point I needed, so let's go to delete mesh and let's add mm, the first one. Let's go to symmetry. We definitely need this one. Double click and then edit mesh. And we need to go to, uh, I usually use this, so I'm going to need, let's go to extrude. Actually, I kind of need extrude, so let's skip it. Mm, 
let's go to open subdivide select normal let's add some UV unwrap and then we can bring more so let's go for 10 We can also add all Onatrix shortcuts. So I need Turbo Smooth, double click. And then I think I'm going to reduce this to 7. So I think you got the idea. We just need to press OK and we just need to go and show buttons. So there we go. We have uh, this modifier so we can scale it down or move it like that and uh, keep the recity UV or we can apply turbo smooth and edit poly so we can edit more and then we can apply another turbo smooth so that's cool you got the idea I'm going to add more that I'm going to use and you can do that also so thank you for watching see you next video